हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल ऑन इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस एग्जांपल्स बेस्ड ऑन लैग्रेंजेस मेथड ऑफ अनडिटरमाइंड मल्टीप्लायर इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैव एक्सप्लेन लैग्रेंजेस मेथड ऑफ अनडिटरमाइंड मल्टीप्लायर इन स्टेप बाय स्टेप मैनर लिंक ऑफ दैट वीडियो इज गिवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स नाउ लेट एस सी नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल इन द क्यू इन दिस एग्जाम्पल वी आर आस्ट टू फाइंड the minimum distance of the origin from the plane 3x plus 2y plus z minus 12 is equal to 0 now let us see its solution here the function which is to be minimized is not explicitly given we are just told that we have to minimize the distance so distance is the function which we have to minimize and that distance has to be from this plane to origin so let us consider point x comma y comma z on the plane 3x plus 2y plus z minus 12 is equal to 0 then its distance from the origin is given by under root of x minus 0 the whole square plus y minus 0 the whole square plus z minus 0 the whole square that is under root of x square plus y square plus z square i hope you remember this is nothing but a distance formula so in this example the function which we have to minimize is f of x comma y comma z is equal to under root of x square plus y square plus z square. We label this as 1. Since this point x comma y comma z is on the plane 3x plus 2y plus z minus 12 is equal to 0, it satisfies this equation. So this equation is nothing but the equation of a constraint. So here we define phi of x comma y comma z as 3x plus 2y plus z minus 12. Now we label this as 2. After this, we define Lagrange's function capital F. It is given by small f plus lambda phi. Now we substitute for f and phi. So we get capital F is equal to this. Next, we find Lagrange's equations by equating total derivative of f with 0. Total derivative of f when equated to 0 we get three equations in this particular case. They are namely daba f by daba x plus lambda into daba phi by daba x is equal to 0. Daba f by daba y plus lambda into daba f phi by daba y is equal to 0. And daba f by daba z plus lambda into daba phi by daba z is equal to 0. Now let us obtain these equations by differentiating f and phi one by one. Here daba f by daba x will be partial derivative of this under root of x square plus y square plus z square with respect to x which is nothing but 1 upon 2 root of x square plus y square plus z square into by chain rule derivative of x square which is 2x plus lambda into partial derivative of phi with respect to x which is nothing but 3 only equal to 0. This 2 and 2 will get cancelled. This under root of x square plus y square plus z square can be replaced by f. So we get equation x upon f plus 3 lambda is equal to 0. Further simplifying which we get x plus 3 lambda f is equal to 0. Similarly, when we differentiate f and phi with respect to y, we get equation y upon f plus 2 lambda is equal to 0 that is y plus 2 lambda f is equal to 0. Similarly, when we differentiate f and phi with respect to z, we get equation z plus lambda f is equal to 0. Guys, you can pause the video and check these calculations. These equations so obtained are called as Lagrange's equations. So now we have three Lagrange's equations. We label these equations as equation number 3. We have to solve these equations along with the equation of a constraint. So let us solve these equations. From this first equation, we can write x is equal to minus 3 lambda f. From second equation, we can write y is equal to minus 2 lambda f. And from third one, we can write z is equal to minus lambda f. Now we substitute these values of x, y and z in this equation of a constraint. So, we get 3 into x that is 3 into minus 3 lambda f which is minus 9 lambda f 
plus 2y that is 2 into minus 2 lambda f which is minus 4 lambda f plus z that is minus lambda f minus 12 is equal to 0. Adding these first three terms we get minus 14 lambda f minus 12 is equal to 0. Further simplifying which we get value of lambda f is equal to minus 12 by 14 that is minus 6 by 7. Now we substitute this value of lambda f in x, y and z. So we get x is equal to minus 3 into minus 6 by 7 that is 18 by 7. Similarly, y will be minus 2 into minus 6 by 7 that is 12 by 7 and z is 6 by 7. Together they form coordinates of a point. That point is our stationary point. So we write point on the plane with minimum distance from the origin is 18 by 7, 12 by 7, 6 by 7. Now let us substitute this stationary point in F to find minimum distance between origin and this point. So we get minimum distance as under root of x square plus y square plus z square that is under root of 18 by 7 square plus 12 by 7 square plus 6 by 7 square which is equal to under root of 72 by 7. I hope guys you understood this example. Now let us proceed for next one. In this example we have to show that the rectangular solid of maximum volume that can be inscribed in a sphere is a cube. In this example neither function f nor phi are given explicitly. So to find them let us first draw this sphere and cube. This is how it will look like. Consider sphere with radius a and rectangular solid with sides 2x, 2y and 2z. I have deliberately taken their sides as 2x, 2y and 2z because here we are assuming this rectangular solid is symmetric about x axis, y axis and z axis. So its height, length and breadth will be respectively 2z, 2x and 2y. So here we write, let the radius of the sphere be a and let the sides of the rectangular solid be 2x, 2y and 2z. Hence the volume V of the solid is given by length into breadth into height which is nothing but 8 into x, y, z with the condition which is equation of a sphere with centered origin and radius a is equal to x square plus y square plus z square is equal to a square. Since we have to maximize this volume, this 8xyz is nothing but your small f and this equation of a sphere is your phi. So we write f is equal to 8xyz and phi is equal to x square plus y square plus z square minus a square. We label them as 1 and 2. Now let's define the Lagrange's function capital F which is given by small f plus lambda phi. Now we substitute for small f and phi here. So we get capital F is equal to this. Next we find Lagrange's equations by equating total derivative of f with 0. When we equate total derivative of f with 0, in this particular case we will get three Lagrange's equations. They are as follows. From this first equation, we get dabba f by dabba x that is 8yz plus lambda into dabba phi by dabba x that is 2x is equal to 0. Therefore, I can write this as lambda x is equal to minus 4yz. Similarly, from the second equation, we get 8xz plus 2y lambda is equal to 0. Further dividing this by 2, we get 4xz plus lambda y is equal to 0, which is nothing but lambda y is equal to minus 4xz. On similar lines, we can write this third equation as lambda z is equal to minus 4xy. These are our Lagrange's equations. Now we have to solve them for the values of x, y and z. We have two techniques to solve them. Either you write x in terms of lambda, y in terms of lambda and z in terms of lambda and put that values of x, y and z in the equation of a constraint. 
and solve it for the value of lambda then substitute that value of lambda back in the values of x y and z or write y in terms of x z in terms of x and then substitute it into this constraint equation you will get value of x put that value of x back into the definitions for y and z you will get values of y and z from there here in this example we are going to use that second technique for that I'm going to multiply this first equation throughout by x. So we get lambda x square is equal to minus 4xyz. Let us multiply second equation throughout by y. So we get lambda y square is equal to minus 4xyz. Similarly, multiplying this third equation throughout by z, we get lambda z square is equal to minus 4xyz. Now we label these as equation number 3. Observe these equation number 3. Or in all these equations, RHS is same. Therefore, LHS has to be same. So we write from equation number 3, we get lambda x square is equal to lambda y square is equal to lambda z square. This lambda lambda will get cancelled. We get x square is equal to y square is equal to z square. Since x, y and z represents lengths, they cannot be negative. Therefore, here we can say x is equal to y is equal to z. Let us carry forward this result. Since we have represented y in terms of x, z in terms of x, we substitute these values of y and z in this equation of a constraint. So from second equation, we get 3x square is equal to a square. Therefore, x square is equal to a square by 3. Therefore, x is equal to a by root 3. From here, we can say y is also a by root 3, z is also a by root 3. Observe that we found stationary point as x comma y comma z that is a by root 3 comma a by root 3 comma a by root 3. Since 2x, 2y and 2z represents sides of the rectangular solid, here we found that all these sides are same. Therefore, that rectangular solid is none other than the cube with side 2 into x that is 2 into a by root 3. And the maximum volume of that cube is given by function f that is 8xyz which is 8 into a by root 3 into a by root 3 into a by root 3 that is a cube upon 3 root 3. I hope guys you understood this example. Please write me in comment box whether you understood both the examples or not. Please also comment how much you like this video. Thank you all of you. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get updates about my new videos.